Recall that a Bernoulli random variable is an experiment that has a success and a failure, and we look at the probability of success. Binomial random variable is when we do n independent Bernoulli trials and ask about the number of successes. So like flipping a coin and asking how many times did we get heads. We've done this already, of course, but let's do it again using random variables and computing expected value and variance. So we'll perform n identical independent Bernoulli trials. So each trial xi is going to be 1 with probability p and 0 with probability 1 minus p. And then we'll let y be x1 plus sum up to xn, which is going to be the number of successes. We call y a binomial random variable and write for shorthand y is distributed as a binomial random variable with n trials and probability p of success. So we know the probability that y equals k is n choose k, because we're going to pick k of the trials to be the successes. Times p to the k, so that's the probability of having those k successes. And then 1 minus p to the n minus k. The other trials are failures. So we've done this in problems before. So let's look at if y is a binomial variable, binomial random variable, and trials probability p on each trial of success, then what are the expected value of y and the variance of y? Well, since y is the sum of all the Bernoulli, Bernoulli, uh, Bernoulli trials that make up the experiment, we have expected value of y equals expected value of x1 up to expected value of xn, because expected value is linear. And then the expected value of a Bernoulli experiment is just p. So we have np. Now since the Bernoulli trials are independent, we have variance of y equals, we can just take the sum of the variances, which we can do with independent random variables, but not in general. So this is The variance for Bernoulli trial is p times 1 minus p. So we get a bunch of p times 1 minus p's, n of them actually. 
So it's n times p times 1 minus p. All right, so we have easy formulas. Both of them are just n times what's the variance of a Bernoulli random variable and n times what's the expectation of a, a, Bernoulli, of a Bernoulli random variable. And by the way, we could say that each Bernoulli random variable is a binomial random variable with just one trial and probability p of success. So Bernoulli random variables are the one trial special case of binomial random variables. Alright, so let's do some examples. Let's use the same examples that we used for Bernoulli random variables and do them a couple of times. So let's say we toss a coin 12 times. And let's let head be a success. And y equals the number of heads, number of successes. And the probability that y equals k is, actually let's pick a number, the probability that y equals 9 is 12 choose 9 ways to, to choose the 9 trials that are going to be successes. 9 times we get heads, and I guess 3 times we get tails, although it doesn't really matter because they're both probability 1 half. So that's 12 choose 9 times 1 half to the 12th. Expected value of y is 12 times the expected value of a single trial, which is 1 half, which is 6. The variance of y is 12 times the variance of a single trial, which is p times 1 minus p, so 12 fourths, which is 3. And here y is a binomial random variable with 12 trials and probability of success 1 half. All right, in the second example, we rolled a pair of dice and wondered, we called a roll of five total a success. So let's roll a pair of dice 24 times. A total of five on the two dice is what we call the success. Why is the number of successes? So now y is a binomial random variable with 24 trials and probability of success we said was there are four ways to get five over 36 possibilities, so it's one ninth. The probability that y equals, let's say, 10. So 10 times we get 5 if we roll the dice 24 times is 24 choose 10 ways to choose the, the 10 trials to be the successes. And then succeed 10 times and fail 14 times. 
Expected value of y is 24 trials times probability of success. 1 ninth divide top and bottom by 3 8 thirds. And the variance of y is 24 trials times probability of success times probability of failure, which is Let's see, 24 and 9, we can factor a 3 out. So we get 8 times 8 over 3 times 9. 64 over 27. All right, in the third example, we chose three marbles from an urn. Containing four white and five black, sorry, or four white and five blue. We define success to be choosing one white and two blue. Let's do this 14 times. Now, so that these are identical trials, we're going to replace the three marbles after each trial. Y is going to be the number of successes. So then Y is a binomial random variable with, we have 14 trials and probability we said was 10 21sts of success. So that came from You get one white marble and two blue. There's four ways to get the white. And then five choose two ways to get the blue over nine choose two total. And that reduced down to 10 21sts. So the probability, I guess we can write it up here. probability that y equals fourteen, let's say eight, is we're gonna do fourteen trials. So fourteen choose eight ways to choose the eight trials, which will be the successes. And then probability of success is ten twenty firsts. So eight successes and then that'll leave six failures. 1 minus 10 21st is 11 21st, six failures. Expected value of y is number of trials, which is 14, times the probability of success, which is 10 over 21, equals, cancel out sevens, 20 over three. And the variance of y is number of trials times probability of success times probability of failure. We cancel out a 7 here. So we have 20, 22 times 10, which is 220 over 63. So notice the probability of success was 10 over 21, which is almost half. 
and the expected value of y number of success, successes in 14 is 20 over 3, which is slightly less than 21 over 3, which would be 7, which would be half. So slightly less than half makes sense because the probability of success is slightly less than half. The end.